Hi, this is the voice of Emrathic. World Championship has ended. Now we come back to our famous Pink Sunday. Today we will talk about the second part in table tennis footwork. Remember, footwork needs to be precise and quick. There are four basic footwork patterns that every player should master. The first one is presented in, my, in the previous Pink Sunday. It is called two-step pattern, used when you want to attack the ball after your serve. The second one for today is called quick jump pattern. But first of all, I will answer your question. What is a good ready position in table tennis? A player has asked me, Hi Emrathic, thanks for the footwork video, I understood everything now. I have another question in the basic position. Many coaches said that every player should bend their knee until the eye around net height. However, I don't and I find when I do that, my feet get too tense and I, I'm not able to move well. But how should you position yourself in general? Should you just bend your knee until you feel balanced or bend until net height like what I heard? Oh no, don't do that. Don't bend the knee until the eye on the net. It is the bad advice. You should stand loosely, naturally, and it depends on your height. I will explain it right now. Chinese philosophy about standing position is quite clear and simple. First, they don't force the player to lower their body to the net. Such things like eye around the net height doesn't exist. It depends on your height. Some players are short, another one is taller. So there's no room for that. If you are tall and try to stand eye on the net, you can't move quickly. Second, but Chinese focus more on distance and the weight distribution. For the distance, you should stand not too close and not too far from the table. The right distance is about the length of your arm from the table, around 40 cm. Don't stand too close to the table, it is really bad for your table tennis. I will explain it later in this video. Third, weight distribution. It is the secret that many table tennis coach didn't teach the player correctly. You should put all of your weight on the toe but not on the heel. That means the good standing will help you lean forward easily. Or if you stand right, someone from behind you will slightly push your back to make you fall down forward. This is the best way to stand because you are on the way ready to move. Hope it helps. This is the standing position of Ma Long and Zhang Zikur. They stand differently. It depends on their preference and habit. It seems that Ma Long stand lower than Zhang Zhiku, but both stand at a good position. That means ready to attack every long ball. But focus more on the weight distribution. Look how Ma Long jumps on his toe. He's ready to lean forward to fall forward. You can clearly see that eye on the net is the bad advice for your standing. Zhang Zhiku quickly stand up when the opponent is about to serve, throw the ball up. Zhang Zhiku look down his racket to estimate the right distance from the table. So, remember, the distance from the table is much more important than the height of your standing. If you are tall, you can stand high. No need to bend the knee just to have the eye on the net. How important is the fundamental technique in table tennis? Another player talked to me. By the way, I wanted to emphasize my respect for your work. 
My kid has seen quite a few so-called pro coaches so far in her short career, and most of them didn't know or didn't share much. Some are coach of the year, some have written books about table tennis coaching, and many carry formal license and good reputation. None explain the proper, proper technique of holding the bat, no one really explained power from the round, right everyone concentrated on arm swing and wrist. To tell the truth, even today I need to point out to my daughter coach when she is putting the wrong foot under the table when pushing and medically, oh coach, let her get out of chef, allow her to play without being balanced so her top speed simply have no power. So you are right um, that many coach um, didn't focus enough on the fundamental technique in table tennis. You sent me a lot of message on Facebook. I can't answer all of your questions. I'm sorry about that. I always prefer to answer a good detailed answer than a quick answer. I hope you understand that. Three types of movement in table tennis. In table tennis, there are three types of movement. A. Forward movement. You move closer to the table. B. Move backward. You move further from the table. And C. Move lateral. You move from left to right or right to left. And my question for you is, which one is the fastest? A. Forward B. Backward C. Lateral You have 5 seconds to answer. Tit, 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 tring. If you have chosen A, congratulations! The science of sport has confirmed that human body moves easier and quicker forwardly, so the fastest movement is forward, the second is lateral and the slowest is backward. You now understand why standing close to the table is really bad. Many amateur players tend to stand too close to the table and then struggle to attack the long ball. Human is very slow to move backward. It's better to stand further. You can attack every long ball and easily step in move closer to the table to return the short ball. I personally know a very good penhole player, he is also a Chinese player, but his problem is he stands too close to the table. He has a good feeling, a good serve, an aggressive quick attack, but he made many unfox errors in the rally because he stands too close to the table and doesn't have enough time for the rally. My young player do the same mistake. When they train, they stand further from the table and they play very well. But every time in the real match, they stand too close to the table after the service and miss the ball or can't attack the long ball. The player don't realize that, but the coach can easily spot this problem. I have my own way to convince this young player. I ask them to film themselves and after watching the video, they knock the head and change the bad habit. Today, the second footwork pattern is quick jump pattern. This pattern is used to move forward or backward during the rally. The quick jump pattern is very important. It helps you move backward or forward to contact the ball at a good timing. For the forehand stroke, remember that your right foot needs to move first for both backward and forward movement. Although it is called the quick jump, you should not jump both feet, it will make you unstable, but that the right foot will lead the movement first. The tip to move fast is always put your weight on the toe, move with the toe. The coach move very fast and adjust easily to the length of the ball. 
Amateur players should train to have this reflex, quick jump with right foot to attack the long ball and come back quickly to the table. For the backhand stroke, the same principle is applied, that the right foot will step in first if you want to move closer to the table. To move backward, that is always the right foot will push to the round and step back first, and the left foot follows. Some amateur players do the wrong pattern, they use the left foot to come back first. This bad habit will destabilize your movement. So this is the right pattern to move forward and backward in table tennis. If you stand too close to the table, it is better to change it now. The rule of thumb is in real match or in training, you should stand at the same position that you can attack every long ball. See you next weekend for the third footwork pattern in table tennis.